G'day viewers, welcome back to Organic Power. This episode is going to be all about battery charge settings. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries. I'm happy with how I have my charge settings now. It's a nice balance between charge efficiency and cell degradation. So stay tuned. I'll show you what I found out. Our Certo GX is connected to the local area network. And then this old phone I have here connects to that network using Wi-Fi. So if you go into the VRM here, this tab, and you click on your system, it'll load up, you go over to devices, this will show you your MPPTs, and also this shows me my battery monitor. We'll go into the 25060 and wait for this to load. This is it here loading. Got all the stats there. Let's see what's happening within the unit. So finish loading there now, we can go into the settings, go to battery, so it's a 48 volt system, I've got it set to the max charge current, I control my current limit in the uh, console, I'll show you that in a little while, uh, 55 volts. It's all I charge to, that's all you need really, for a 48 volt system. It's charging quick enough with that high voltage without uh, compromising battery with cell degradation by overcharging. I also find that 54.2 is a nice point just to keep the cells at a uh, full level but without going overboard and keeping them uh, overcharged. That's pretty much all the settings we need to have in there. We can go into expert mode here. I have my rebulk set at 0.5. So during the day, if I have a high load and my battery drains below 53.7, it'll go back into rebulk and go from either float or absorption back into bulk charging. That works best for this system. We get a little bit of cloud and I've got the air conditioners on. The uh, voltage will drop below that point. And the next time the sun comes out, it's straight back into charging the battery up. So that was the 25060. This is the little 15035. Let that load up there. That's the voltage on the string at the moment, it's fairly cloudy, <clears throat> 76 volts. 
Got it loaded there now. So the max charge current for this unit is 32 amps. And 55 volts, 54.2. You don't want to use equalization for lithium batteries. Make sure this is disabled. The tail current here is when the system considers the battery to be fully charged. So once the charger is charging at less than one amp, it will stop charging and the battery monitor will detect that charge voltage and after a certain amount of time once that tail current threshold has been met will set the state of charge to 100% so that just happens automatically, you don't have to worry about that it's, the tail current is just telling you that once the charge current has dropped below that point that you've set, the system knows the battery's full and will just go into float. So we we'll go back out of the 150.35 and into the 450.200. This has four strings, the east-west, a westerly, an easterly, and there's a second easterly here. 16 panels, 14 panels, 11 panels, and 12 panels. You see the voltage and the current they're bringing in. So the max charge current, just got it set to max. Once again, I uh, set that in the console, which I'll show you. These are the same. All these settings will be the same throughout my MPPTs. It's so all got to be doing the same thing. It doesn't get cold here in winter. You don't want to charge a lithium battery below freezing. So zero degrees Celsius. You don't want to be charging your lithium battery. So you'd set that to whatever you think is recommended. I've got mine set to five degrees. We'll never get to five degrees here. It's always warmer than that. So I don't really have to worry, but just make sure you will damage your battery, your lithium battery, if you try and charge below the freezing point, zero degrees Celsius. So this is the relay that triggers the generator. It's at 48 volts, 48.8. Uh, the relay will be triggered. So once the battery is drained down to that much, the generator will come on, and start charging the batteries. We've got a minimum close time on that relay for 20 minutes. And then the relay will clear and remain open at 53 volts until it receives another low battery signal. So I've come back to the main tab here. 
We go across to local. And go into the remote console. Go into menu. Settings. In this setting here, DVCC. This is where I control my maximum charge current, which I have to set to 180. 55 volts My battery temperature sensor is from the 45200 Just make sure you understand your battery before you adjust any of these settings. The last thing you want is a battery fire. It's a very safe system though, the Victron system. There's a lot of safety circuits in the system. It's pretty well hands free. They're high quality. They're pretty much, uh, it's plug and play. Once you've got the cables connected, the Victron system will take care of itself. You do have to be careful. You don't want to be overcharging your batteries. But even if you set the default lithium setting, most batteries will be fine with the Victron settings. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the end of this episode. Here's the system in operation. Very cloudy today. It's on and off. At the moment we're consuming from the battery. The sun will peak out. And we'll charge back up again. We've got a little bit of air conditioning running there. And my wife's also in the hair salon today. So the AC loads a little bit up there. Nothing the system can't handle. Alright guys, take it easy. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.